Hey there YouTubers, All right? So in this video featuring Liquid Freezer 2 280. This is a 280 millimeter AIO. Now, you know the channel, we don't do a lot of water cooled. Matter of fact, we're uh, pretty much strictly air cooled except for the occasional water cooled um, CPU cooler that comes through here. So a couple things holding me back. One, there were no directions in the box, and the ones online leave a lot up to the imagination, especially when you're mixing parts from four different kits. So hopefully we got it installed right. At least the uh, the temps here seem pretty good. What's the lowest it's got down to? 22. So that, that makes it comparative to a lot of the really good CPU coolers we've had that have been air coolers. But uh, those have all failed because once Cinebench R23 gets cranking, uh, they all thermal throttle. So I'm hoping for better luck with this. Now, let's check our settings. So I had to go back and default all this stuff. Hopefully these are the actual defaults. Uh, we'll probably at some point do power limits to unlimited because I'm sure it'll power limit throttle. So let's start with uh, the XTU benchmark just to get us uh, get us going. And I will bring up Hardware Info 64 for the uh, the rest of the benchmarks. So that actually 82. And I didn't notice if the power limits came on, but um, most likely they will when we put on. Cinebench 9996. So I've been in the 10,000s there for that. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of R20. I'm expecting this will power limit throttle. So this uh, CPU cooler, it's a nice looking CPU cooler. You know, beyond the crap directions and multiple uh, back plates and uh, brackets and those kind of headaches, it uh, looks to be halfway decent. So somewhere in there, we hit 94. So to be honest with you folks, I think we're, I don't, think we are going to have much luck with this one either when we do our 23 we'll find out though whoops all right so that's a good sign that is my highest r20 score um hmm. i like that folks So I was hoping, you know, from what people have said, the 280 or 360 would be good. I went 280, maybe I had a little cheap uh, after spending a ton of money on other coolers. But it's good to know if the 280 can, you know, hang before we go 360. All right, so R23. And I will switch over to hardware info for this. And this is going to take 10 minutes. And I will let this, uh, if it thermal throttles, it thermal throttles. I won't stop it. All right, so let's see how our temps are doing. This can cool off a little bit. Now I don't have any. Um, haven't undervolted this at all, so it's almost tempting to give it a slight undervolt just to just to see. But um, I'll just go ahead and just run it.
and right in this area is usually where we see thermal throttling or excuse me we hit uh, 100 100 degrees celsius and you can hear the fans cranking at some point i will uh, shut the mic off See what the fans are running at. 1700. And so if we pull the other one up. Nice to see if it thermal throttles. And then we'll go back. So 96, 97, still don't see an alert that it is thermal throttled. Power limit throttling. Actually, this is probably the better way to watch this. So you got eight minutes. I'm going to um, mute the mic. I'll be back in.
All right, folks. So let's see what the score was. Twenty-eight thousand. Um. Yeah, that's definitely a power limit issue there. And then you could see temp wise. Really can't do much with uh, power limits. I'll probably make another video since this one's already 16 minutes long. And we will uh, boost the power limits and then under it uh, and hopefully get over 30,000. I was able to hit, uh, I think I got 30, almost 31,000 with the uh, last CPU cooler, but uh, we had to do a lot of uh, experimentation, we'll say. So there you go, folks. That is with this here Liquid Freezer 2 280, the one with the controller. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.